Hello my friends, today I'm coming to you with another vlog and in today's vlog we're going to be packing for an upcoming trip which if you would like to come along with me on this trip make sure that you're subscribed down below because of course I'm going to be vlogging the entire time but first things first we have to pack so I'm going to share with you my packing ritual which might seem unorthodox but trust me there is a method to the madness so if you'd like to see how I pack and hear my top tips on how to pack and travel with your most precious pieces then make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and keep on watching so i'm going to be away for three days and i'm only taking a carry-on which means i have to be really smart about the kind of pieces that i take with me so i can make sure that I can create cohesive outfits and in order to do that I want to be really organized and really thorough with my planning. So the first thing that I will usually do is I will sit down and write a list of all the plans that I have to kind of figure out how many outfits I will need and what type of outfits I will need to take with me after which I will brainstorm the different components of each outfit and I will write a packing list of all the things that I want to pack so I can put the types of outfits together that I had in mind which doesn't mean that I will stick to this list really strictly but this will give me a general idea of the basics that I want to take and this is all before I even go into my wardrobe because the next thing we'll do is we'll have to check the weather just so we don't create these incredible outfits which might look amazing but we won't be able to wear them because the weather won't allow us to do so so the next thing you want to do is you want to check the weather and then finally we can start browsing our collection so here i will start to pick out the things that i had on my list and i will also be inspired by things that i forgot that i had things that haven't seen the light of day in quite a while but i think that there is an occasion that they would be perfect for which doesn't mean that all of these things will be coming with me in my suitcase but I will try to pull them out here and if I find something new, something that wasn't on my list, I will make sure that I can integrate it into an outfit or I can make up a new outfit. I'm not just going to be taking random pieces. If I pull out something that doesn't match the pieces that I already have, I will build a brand new outfit and all these things will go on a separate dedicated rail, which I will keep really organized. I will go through every single thing and I will make sure that I do have complete outfits that I can wear, not necessarily to specific occasions, but I will have outfits put together. Some people like to create lookbooks. Some people like to try each individual piece on i personally don't go that far i just try to kind of group the different pieces that i think would go well together and then i will create larger groups of things that are interchangeable so i will take sometimes a couple of extra t-shirts a couple of extra knits depending on the weather things that i might want to switch up later on but I always have to make sure that I have complete outfits and I'm not just taking random pieces just for the sake of it because if I'm taking something that I won't be able to wear, we cannot afford to waste our precious real estate if and when we're only traveling with a carry-on. So I will use this rail system just to go through everything and to actually style the pieces. So you'll see here that I picked out a Gucci leather jacket, which wasn't actually on my list. This is something that I don't think... I have ever worn and even if I did it was probably only as a throw-on piece so I had to come up with a brand new outfit if you guys want to see what the outfit ended up looking like you'll have to come back to watch my vlogs but I basically pulled out a white product t-shirt and then a navy blue knit from Hermes and then I tried to figure out which kind of blue jeans I would want to take with this jacket so this is a brand new outfit whenever I pull out something new I make sure that it's part of an outfit or it can go with something that I already have in there and if it doesn't I will create a brand new look which then has to go under rail and it is going to replace something because I'm only going for a few days so I don't need an additional outfit I mean I could always use an additional outfit but I just simply don't have the room to take it with me so it's going to have to replace another outfit and once I have everything on the rail I will actually go through it again I will make sure that everything is in the right group I have complete outfits and that I actually like the outfits that I do have after which 
believe it or not, I will go back and start removing things because I don't want my rail to be too repetitive. I don't need to take all these things with me. So in this case, I removed things like a Celine cashmere coat, which I felt it just looked a little bit out of place. There weren't too many things that it would go with and it would also be quite warm to wear at this point. So I will remove things and I will also update my master list, but I will wait to take things off until they actually go into my suitcase. Speaking of which, it's finally time to get our suitcase out, which the suitcase I usually travel with is my Remova carry-on. I love this hard shell carry-on, but one thing that you should know before you buy this is that if you get it in black, it is going to chip. If you don't want your carry-on to chip, make sure that you get either the plastic Remova suitcases or the metal ones bought in silver, because if you get them in black, the coating unfortunately is going to chip. But going back to packing, I always start with my underwear and with my socks because these are the last things you want to leave at home. And I will always use this mesh pocket in my Remova carry-ons and suitcases, depending on what I travel with, to pack them. And I know everyone has their own way of packing. Personally, I like to pack things flat. I don't like to roll things up. I don't like to use packing cubes, especially if I'm only gone for a few days. I like to lay and pack everything flat, which I have to be honest, isn't the most space conscious way of packing. You definitely waste more space than you necessarily have to but I find that this is the best way to keep things nice and neat in your suitcase. If you want to get to your destination, just hang everything and be good to go and not have to worry about ironing or steaming your things. Packing things flat is the best way to preserve your things. And speaking of preserving your things, when I'm packing, I also make sure that everything is clean. Nothing needs to be dry cleaned. Nothing needs to be washed. There aren't any buttons missing. There aren't any holes and rips because you do not want to get to your destination, have everything fully planned out and then be disappointed by there being a deodorant mark or something on your clothes that you didn't expect. So this is the perfect time to do that. And then I will do my best to lay everything nice and flat in my suitcase, which the Remova suitcases are the best for this because they actually come with this belt system that allows you to press everything perfectly flat. And then last but not least, now that we have all our outfits picked out, it's time for us to choose our accessories and discuss how to pack our bags, which I have done dedicated videos on packing and traveling with luxury bags. So I will make sure to have those linked up in the corner here in case you would like to learn more about that. But I can give you a couple of quick tips here. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do is that you never ever ever check in any one of your precious bags. Make sure that you always carry them on. I will either put them in my carry-on if I have the space to do that and if i don't i will show you exactly what i do but before we start packing our bags obviously you want to make sure that you pick the right bags so i am going to be taking two bags with me i know that i want to take my constance 18 in box and i am contemplating taking a larger bag a larger tote bag so i'm thinking about either taking my birkin 35 in black togo or I'm also considering my her bag. I'm not going to take both. I will probably pick one the night before, but I might be taking my Birkin just because it's not a bag that gets that much use. But the first thing I will do is I will put air tags in all of my bags and even in my carry-on and suitcases, which if you have never heard of air tags before, they're basically kind of dumbed down tracking devices. You can get them directly from Apple, you can get them online and you can just shove them in any one of your bags. You can put them on even keys and things like that. You can basically attach these onto things that you want to keep track of. So I will put them in all of my bags and I will also put them in my suitcases. Other than AirTags, I also like to keep the receipts of my bags with me. So I'm not going to be taking them this time, but if you're going on a shopping trip with your friends, let's say you're going to Paris, I would say to take the original receipts with your bags, especially if you are as careful with your bags as I am, and some of your bags look brand new, it's good to have the original receipts with you, which you should be able to get. If you got your bag from Hermes, Chanel, Dior, you should be able to get copies of 
the receipts from those brands and if you're traveling with exotic bags make sure that you also have your sites with you and then the way i like to pack my bags is i like to create basically this little doll of bags so i will take my smallest bag in this case my constance 18 and i will put it in a bag that's slightly larger than my smaller bag so in this case i put my constance 18 in my birkin 35 but this also works if you're traveling with multiple bags so let's say you're traveling with a mini kelly and let's say a birkin 30 you could put your mini kelly in your birkin 30 if you also have a larger tote bag then you could put those two bags in your larger tote bag and so on you can basically put as many bags in one another as you want to but do make sure that you put each and every single bag in its dedicated dust bag just so you don't risk scratching your bags on the inside which it's not the end of the world but i would still make sure that each bag is protected and this could really be the end of it you could just create this dough of bags but i personally like to then protect all of my bags by putting them in a large tote bag like this you could also use a duffel and you might be wondering what's the point of doing that i could just put all of my bags in their dust bag i could even just put my largest let's say birkin in its own dust bag and carry that way which you could but if you're ever asked to put your bag through the x-ray machine if you are ever asked to put your bag underneath the seat in front of you or put in the overhead bin you never really know what's hiding there so i like to make sure that my bags are fully protected and by putting them in a duffel or a larger puffy tote bag i know that there is a little bit of a cushion in between my bags and the outside world not to mention that it is also a lot more discreet but my friends this actually completes today's vlog packing with me i really hope you enjoyed it and you got some valuable tips and tricks out of it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet and if you have any packing tricks please don't hold back share with us in the comment section and i cannot wait to see you back here next week hopefully with some really really fun travel vlogs Thank you.